Hey guys, it's Jimmy Lady 304 here back with the 30 Day Lego Challenge. Today is day 18. So I'll be picking a piece of paper from the bowl of mystery here. And I'm interested to see what today's build or whatever today will be. So let's pick this piece of paper since it's all pretty much unfolded. Build an arsenal of various weapons. Okay. So that's going to require that I use this case here. Which has all my weapons and all my minifig stuff. I'll, if you guys want me to do a tour of this to show you how this works, let me know. So my old one is now over there in the closet. But anyway, so I'll be back after I build some weapons. These weapons I built one at a time. And here we have this grappling hook I built a while ago. But, you know, it's still, still useful. So you can probably have it facing like that. And the grappling hook can unwind. This is actually made of dental floss, which is, sounds really weird, but it actually works really, really good. So, if you're going to make a grappling hook like this, um, just use dental floss. If you'd like to see me do a tutorial on how to build something like this, let me know and I'll be glad to do it. Anyway, next weapon is probably the weakest of the bunch in terms of what it's made of. Just a couple horns, a gun, and a flame piece from Chima. But it's nothing much, but I think it still looks good, you know. You can just hold it in a minifig's hand and, you know, shoot it. Now, for the most oversized weapon in the history of weapons is this thing. It's just a, I don't know, you could use it as like a staff to fly, or you could use it to, you know, I don't really even know. Just, like, it's that ridiculously oversized. It's just ridiculously oversized. You see how big this thing is? Alright, so we'll stand it here. Stand it like that. And we'll pull, we'll pull mini gym blade here. That's how tall it is compared to a regular mini fig. Almost three, probably close to two or th two and a half times the height of a mini fig. So that's crazy oversized. But I thought it would look kind of funny. Let me know what you think about that weapon. That weapon's personally my favorite. And then here is the weakest of them in terms of stability because you know it just these really aren't don't stay on very well so they're very easy to fall off and just a couple four just like four red fangs and a couple pairs of binoculars to hold them and a chainsaw blade so yeah and then we have this thing which I'm not even sure what this is you could use it you know to like that you know use it as a wheel you know it's a multi-purpose weapon but you know so that weapon's that. That one's probably my least favorite again. One of my least favorites. Anyway, here's this. This is made out of two of these pieces that um, from the one of the booster packs from Ninjago. If you guys remember those back in 2012, those things were like ridiculously overpriced, like the spinners, but they were still kind of cool. And I I bought a uh, quite a few of them. So this just has a couple of the snake pieces held in on one of the Chima axe pieces with two horns. So these really. I mean, they can come off, but they're not really supposed to. You can have them spread out like that, or, you know, you can have them really however you want to. And I just proved myself wrong. They can come off really easily. But anyway, another weapon that these cannot come off easy, because they have to go through another piece. You can just spread those out like this, but this is this weapon, you know. You can have one of these back. It's mostly monochromatic with a little bit of gold and gray, but it's mostly silver. So, you know, and then these could come up like this at one point, or like that, which could look really cool. But that's another weapon I built. And this weapon is kind of real, it's really, really weird, but I kind of, I really like it. So it has a purple blade here, so you could use it like, you know, you could use it like you spin it around, and then if an enemy sneaks up behind you, just like that, you know backhand it, and, you know, anyway, so, and then it uses it, one of the telescope pieces, and I think, like, a pogo stick kind of leg from, like, a skeleton that could be used with a skeleton, and I just added a couple of these mace pieces that I had lying around from when I built something else, and added those on just to make it, just to make it look really kind of weird, and the last weapon I built is this, which could just be a drill, it's just basically, it's just a drill, and there are four fangs, on in the green color with which uses the the one by one brick with studs on four sides and then uses one of the lightsaber hilts and the lightsaber blade the longer lightsaber blade in black 
But those are all the weapons I made. Let me know what you think about them. You know, but this one in particular, because this one is ridiculously oversized. Just, just because, you know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Jimblade8304, signing off. Bye.